Game Troy one, welcome back. Today is a pretty cold day, but I still decided to come out because sun is out. And in today's episode, we will be comparing the Sony Autofocus with Canon's Dual Pixel AF. So it's the war between the Canon Autofocus and the Sony Autofocus. But before we go to war, let's roll the intro. Let's go. Welcome back everyone, my name is Abhijit but everybody calls me DJ. On this channel I share everything that I learn about photo, video and sometimes we just have family stuff, travel vlogs, basically we just have fun and if you like to have fun hit that subscribe and click on the notification so every time when I post a video you'll be first one to know. Now let's get straight to the points and today's episode is about battle between the autofocus system Sony versus Canon. So I'm comparing the Sony autofocus with Canon autofocus. I'm shooting on Canon 1080p 24fps versus Sony 4k 24fps. So the focal length on both of the lenses is 24mm so that way the picture quality or the comparison is pretty fair. The Sony focus is set up as normal uh, with responsive and I believe the speed is uh, 3 so that way it doesn't jump too much. Uh, I really like the settings that, uh, that Sony gives us for the autofocus versus Canon. It's just um, plain and simple dual pixel AF but then you have different settings Settings. mostly people just put it on a continuous autofocus which by the way is on Sony but mostly if you put the uh, continuous autofocus on Canon system it works pretty well so as we know Canon is known for its autofocus and Sony is pretty much very close to it so we're gonna do some tests and see which one holds up which one is the best one are they equally good if the Canon is better or the Sony is better so we're gonna find out today so let's get to that Now we're gonna do the Zoolander autofocus test. The Magnum. I think I need to fix my hair for that. Too late for that. So guys, I think we have enough evidence to decide who is the winner or is it a draw? Or do you think Sony is doing better than Canon? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. I personally think they are equally good. I think Canon still has a little bit of edge on the autofocus game because the way it transitions between the focusing the subject and going out of the subject, I think the transition to come into the focus, it's a little bit smoother than Sony, but I don't think Sony is far too behind. I personally think 
if you go with either system they are equally good sony gives you a lot more option to match your style so if you are just a vlogger you go with your standard settings just put it on the responsive side but if you are into movie or fast moving subject or you need extremely fast autofocus sony can allow you to do that i believe canon is still into that smooth transition it has a slight delay compared to the sony but i personally think they are equally great you can go wrong with either system but I definitely wanted to know your thoughts. Do you think Sony is better or do you think Canon still leads or you think it's a draw? They are equally good and there is no difference whatsoever. Let's get the conversation going. Leave it in the comment section below. Let me know what your thoughts are. So that's all I have for you guys today. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Makes a big difference. And if you didn't enjoy the video, double click the thumbs down. That will make the difference too. In any case, I will see you guys in the next video. Till then, hello.